Good morning, cruisers. It is a bright early. It is 8 a.m. Welcome back to our channel. It is Tuesday, and I'm on my way to my 16-week appointment at the perinatologist office. And I'm so excited because it's been like a month since I've seen baby boy. Um, so yeah, I just want to take you guys along with me and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the rest of this video. In real life, <laughs> times of COVID. Hopefully one day we'll look back and just say, wow, we survived this. But for now, wear your mask, people. Especially since my perinatologist is in the hospital, I'm definitely wearing a mask. I lose my breath whenever I see you. So today is my 16 week pregnancy update. I feel like it's been a while since I really updated you guys like on time because I'm actually 16 weeks pregnant. Um, all the other videos I've kind of like told you guys how I felt afterwards. So this is good because it's like fresh in my mind. I can really talk about my symptoms, what I'm experiencing as you guys know this has not been like a textbook pregnancy at all definitely had her ups and downs i am still currently on bed rest due to a subchorionic hematoma which is like a bleed in my uterus so yes i'm bleeding while pregnant which is very scary but first i wanted to talk about like the happy and good things so i like to use the pregnancy plus app and I like it just because it shows you the baby size, like what it actually is like. So this is the baby size and he's actually pretty big. Like it almost doesn't fit. I don't know if it's too bright. He like almost doesn't fit on the phone. So he's getting bigger and it tells you three little facts per week. So this week it says the veins that have been showing through your baby's skin are becoming less obvious as fat formation begins. Heart pumping, the little heart is busy pumping 25 quarts of blood a day. And meconium, the meconium which is the first bowel movement your baby will have after birth is starting to form in your baby's bowel. So I just think that's so cute. It says it's day 115 which is crazy, week 16. I am 16 weeks and three days pregnant. According to this, my due date is December 27th, but due to a lot of the things going on, I'm probably going to deliver him between 36 and 37 weeks, so more like the beginning of December. Okay, so at the 16-week appointment, they checked, you know, my weight, my blood pressure, which was actually everything was really good. I usually have high blood pressure because I'm like really nervous when I'm at any medical setting, but ever since I gave up coffee and I've just like been practicing more like breathing and meditation, my blood pressure has been a lot better. So hopefully that's working. The baby's heart rate was 154 and he's so cute. The doctor gave me some pictures. There's his little face. She says he has a tiny little button nose, just like me and Evan. And yeah. It's just perfect. So yeah, they also did a blood draw to check for spina bifida, which they usually do at 16 weeks. Yeah, they had to do two kinds of ultrasounds on me, one transvaginally to check my placenta, my cervix, and the bleed that I'm having. My placenta is still low-lying placenta. They don't want to call it placenta previa yet because there's still time for it to change. So pray, please pray that it moves up because I am praying nonstop that it moves up so that we don't have an additional complication. So there's still time for that. So I'm praying it will move up. What else did they check? Then abdominally, they just checked the hematoma, which is the bleed, and it's still the same size, so I'm still on bed rest until that gets resolved as well. So other than the appointment, that was pretty much it. I wanted to talk about my cravings, which 
it's weird like I'm not craving anything specifically but like when I see something like if I see it on Instagram like when I'm scrolling or if I see it on a commercial I'm like ooh, that looks really good I really want that but typically it's either like sandwich like sandwiches sound so good which is great because Justin can make that very easily <laughs> A craving that I'm having a lot is mango. I want like mango every day. Mango, platano, salami, queso frito. Like that just like typical Dominican. Lo traigo el pe. Like I really want that. But that's harder because Justin can't make that. <laughs> so definitely got to, I got to get some mango in my life. I'm craving that really bad. What else? Ramen noodles. I've been craving that a lot. If my little cousins, they've made it for me. They're amazing. They've been feeding us this whole time that I can't cook a lot. But they made the most amazing ramen noodles. So that's been a craving for me too. Other than that, I'm craving just really, really cold liquid like all the time. I normally, like when I'm not pregnant, I drink just like room temperature water. That's like my thing, I, we leave our, our Brita water filter out of the fridge. But right now, I need cold water. Like, I have to have cold water, cold drinks. That's just my preference right now. And I'm also craving like, which is really weird for me, I don't drink soda, but I'm loving soda, especially the Wendy's Sprite. Oh, there's something about it, I love it. But yeah, other than that, Everything else is kind of the same. I'm experiencing some, I forget what they call it, but like as your uterus grows and stretches, you'll experience like little cramps, little like, you. it feels like just like tightening. So I'm definitely feeling some of that. I have to be like laying on my side and um, like flipping all night. So it's definitely not a very comfortable sleep. I'm already pretty big. I'll show you guys my bump date at the end of this. So yeah, I'm definitely rolling around a lot. As you know, I'm on bed rest, so pretty much living on my bed. <laughs> so there's a lot of just like rolling around, stretching on the bed. I'm putting my left legs up against the headboard, you know, trying to do what I can. I'm pretty much living in just like these little bodycon dresses. They had a four pack on Amazon for like $25. So I got a gray one, a black one, a skin tone one, and a white one. I think actually I'll link that down below because it was a great deal and these are amazing. They're so soft, so comfortable and you can wear it with like a cute little jacket or like just like a, a shirt, a crop top and like tie it up or something. So very versatile, which I love. Other than that, I'll just like be in my PJs all day pretty much because I'm laying in bed. Except I'll put like my uniform top on when I'm doing my therapy with my patients. And if I have to go somewhere, I'll just like either wear, what, like I said, a bodycon or maternity leggings. Which luckily, since I've been pregnant twice before, I have like a box, like a pile of all my pregnancy clothing tucked away in my closet and I brought it back down. Yeah, because I need it again. So yeah, I have my all my pregnancy leggings that I just wear with like a tank top or like a loose fitting shirt. Other than that, I think... That's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm still bleeding, so definitely taking it easy. Um, my doctor said that I can walk like 10 minutes a day. Like if I wanted to take a walk, it'd be like 10 minutes, not to stand for too long for more than five to 10 minutes. So it's taking a lot out of me to really stick to that, but I am doing it because it will all be worth it in the end for my healthy baby and a healthy me so I can be here for my babies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. I also like just doing this for myself kind of because when you look back like you really do forget so it's nice to document it. Like I said before if you guys have any questions please ask me so that I can answer them on the next one or if there's anything you want to ask me now I can answer in um, the comment section. So definitely ask me. And here is the bump. There it is. 16 week bump of my little baby boy. I would say that this is probably the smallest of my baby bumps actually. With Evan and Camila, I think I was showing more at 16 weeks. But I don't know, maybe it's just because his belly is actually so low. It was implanted low, so maybe that's why. I don't know. What are you guys doing there? You watching your favorite movie of all time? Toy Story? 
Guys, look at my hair. Look at the braids. Yeah. I'm actually pretending that it's actually it's actually my really real hair, like my like my hair. Oh. <laughs> How are you feeling with these 16 weeks the 16 of weeks. torture? <laughs> <laughs> 16 weeks. It hasn't even been me. 16 weeks, so. It hasn't been 16 like, weeks? Like, of us knowing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been like. It's been eight like eight weeks, weeks yeah. Yeah, these eight weeks of me um, catering to my kids <laughs> has been such an adventure. Both positive and negative. <laughs> I've lost some hair. My your hairline. My hairline has been pushed back. Receding. It's receding. <laughs> um, I've I've grown a lot actually. I've grown a lot within this eight weeks of um, you know doing things all by my own. So Mr. Mom. My Mr. Mom mode. I try to help you when I can, but I'm not supposed yes, to. Yes, yes. You have been helping more often than you sh you're supposed to. Yes. And I thank you for that, Mommy. It's <laughs> been a blessing, especially in the morning. <sighs> I know, I it's hard. There. But um, I'm just hoping for a healthy pregnancy, so I would take the risk, or I would take the responsibility as long as we have a healthy pregnancy and and a healthy baby so as long as everything is for a good cause i'm here for it it'll uh, be worth it yes what are you doing and then little evan over here has eaten dog food <laughs> oh yes let's talk and about that and <laughs> so so evan guys has um has uh, a, a desire of eating dog food. I have no idea. That's his 16 week craving. <laughs> his, his craving is dog food for some reason. He'll always sneak behind the cage, which is right there, and just just grab dog food and start eating it like if it was his food. And, and then, guys, his belly started hurting, so that's why he was crying. Yes, yeah, so, so now his belly do, hurts. We have to move it. Like, we can't have it out there all day. Can't have it out there? Yeah. Yeah, we got to Bourbon put it up he, somewhere. When, when he's napping or goes to bed, that's what yeah. I will eat. So, yes, his belly hurts now, and... He's, he's a little calm now, but he woke up so cranky, just crying the whole time, farting the whole time. <laughs> farting? Uh, That's what he's been doing because it's not sitting well. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully he learned the lesson, but I doubt it, guys. I he does know. not learn anything. That's another I thing. Just the, the fact that I have to chase him around and... And make sure I think I think one of the the biggest reasons why Ariana gets um, so stressed out one of the stress By the way. moments is watching Evan on the camera oh. just climbing on everything climbing on the couch and going over the edge over there if you see the the edge and then climbing on this couch over here and trying to try. It's, it's the way he tries to climb onto everything. It's not it's not normal. It's like it's not it's not the normal way of climbing into the couch or anything. It's 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 all daredevil type. Look at this. Even way. to get up from that, you have to do it like you Spider Man. Like, why? <laughs> so guys, if you have uh if you have boys, if, if any of you watching have boys, please let us know. Let us know. Is it normal for him to just wild out the whole time? Just 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 go crazy and destroy things and everything like he's spider-man he hasn't even watched spider-man so i don't understand how he, he thinks he's spider-man <laughs> like we only have camila to reference to and yes. she was honestly baby you were the best like mm -hmm. she was so calm she would sit like in her little corner remember where the kitchen was <laughs> and play and just like come and ask for things like read books for mm. hours mm. like Honestly, she had, I can remember, two times in her, like, young baby life, like, probably from zero to three, mm -hmm. two boo-boos, ever. Evan gets three to four or five boo-boos a day. <laughs> 
Like literally, you should look at him. No. It's just like I can't. It's too much for me. But right now his thing is Toy Story. He does can't stop watching this. Right? Which is not good. Which is yeah, it's not good. But I mean, it's good that it it's Toy Story, calm. but it's not good that he's watching it. Yeah. Actually. But you know, we have nowhere to go. Daddy's losing his mind, so we gotta do what we gotta do to survive. Okay, we're in survival mode. Yes. There will come a time when we will thrive once again. But right now, we are just trying to make it, <laughs> make it through alive yeah and hopefully you know good things lead these things lead up to some good things so we're dealing with it as much as we can so guys if you want to um check on all of my own channels oh like, yeah you have your own channel <laughs> she wants her own channel what do you guys think about that uh, yeah because um, I'm really bored, 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 so... <laughs> hey! So I wanted... How do I get to like my hair? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending that it's really real. Mm. So is my real hair. Mm -hmm. I have my hair back and forth. So hopefully mommy gave you as much information as she could on her 16 weeks. It's been a little draining because it's been an up and down pregnancy and it's been really stressful. It's been a roller coaster really. So you know I feel for her mostly because I, I get really scared every time she starts bleeding or anything like that. It's just it's just it gets me like anxious and like it gives me anxiety that um, I have to worry about her bleeding or if it's if it's the baby if it's her but we're praying for the best we're hoping for the best both baby and mommy because ah, without mommy I don't know if I can do alright guys thank you guys for watching this video I'm bored notification shout out goes to <laughs> thank you Annie for being a part of the crew we love you, and we'll see you on the next video. Skirt. Don't need someone to save me.